In Africa, the burden of non-communicable diseases has risen sharply alongside a continuing high burden of infectious diseases. Deaths attributed to non-communicable diseases are expected to overtake deaths from infectious causes within the next 10 to 20 years. The control of non-communicable diseases therefore represents one of the biggest health challenges of our time. Raised blood pressure is the leading cause of deaths worldwide and raised blood glucose is the third leading cause of death. Diabetes and hypertension need lifelong treatment. If they are not treated, then people with these conditions will go on to develop serious medical conditions, such as cardiovascular disease, kidney disease, blindness, and foot ulcers that do not heal. In Africa, the age at which these conditions occur is younger than in high-income countries, and so the consequences of poor control of these conditions is grave, causing deaths and poor health in many people of prime working age. Treating these conditions and their complications incurs high costs for the health service and for patients, both from the costs of accessing care and from income lost from the inability to work. We are a group of researchers from Tanzania, Uganda and the UK. Our research partners in Tanzania are the National Institutes for Medical Research and the Sri Hindu Mandal Hospital. In Uganda, the Medical Research Council, Uganda Virus Research Institute, London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine Uganda Research Unit, and in the UK, the Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine. We work closely with ministries of health in Uganda and Tanzania, and with the aid support organization, TASO. Our vision is to improve the health outcomes of people with chronic, lifelong conditions in Africa through research. Our focus is particularly on the prevention and management of HIV infection, diabetes and hypertension. Findings from our pilot studies investigating new ways of organising health services suggest support for integration of services from both healthcare providers and patients, but this needs confirmation in a larger study. We are taking a broad approach to understanding integration. We are using epidemiological methods and clinical trials to quantify the clinical effects of integration and using social science methods to explore how patients and healthcare workers perceive and experience integrated care. There is much that we don't understand about chronic diseases in Africa. Data on how these conditions present and develop over time is limited. This lack of information limits the development of appropriate identification, prevention and treatment strategies for Africa. We will be looking to develop long-term cohorts of persons with chronic disease to broaden our understanding of these conditions and provide policy-relevant data. Increasing coverage of services for diabetes and hypertension will be challenging for African health authorities. We have an opportunity to learn from and use the platforms developed for HIV infection. Using our experience, and rigorous research, we are confident that as a partnership, we can provide the evidence of what will work to meet the global challenge that non-communicable diseases present.